did you know that around 35% of all adults do not get at least seven hours of sleep? Let's talk about that. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get better sleep at night. Let's go. Tip number one on how to get better sleep is you want to go ahead and set the thermostat to anywhere between 65 degrees to 70 degrees. So the reason for that is because there's been proven studies that show that when the temperature in your bedroom is a little colder rather than room temperature or a little warmer, you find a better chance of sleeping with better REM sleep overall, which overall means that you're going to get better sleep and you're going to get better sleep throughout the whole night, not in sections or dividends, if that makes sense. So setting the temperature in your bedroom to a little bit colder, even if you are a little cold, that's fine. That's how it should be. So you want to go ahead and find a snuggle buddy or you want to go ahead and get a good, nice warm blanket. That way, when the cold hits, you're able to fall asleep a lot sooner and a lot better for your REM sleep. Tip number two is going to be you want to go ahead and get some blackout curtains. So blackout curtains means that even if it was daytime, those blackout curtains will not show any daylight. So if you're just trying to go ahead and take a nap or if you just want to go ahead and fall asleep and wherever you may be, you just see a lot of street lights or anything else like that at nighttime, getting blackout curtains is definitely the thing that you need. So ever since I got blackout curtains, the room is pitch black there is no light coming in at nighttime. And that's exactly what you want for when you're falling asleep each and every single night. So the blackout curtains, they're inexpensive. You can find them pretty much anywhere such as Walmart, Target, Amazon, just about anywhere. And those blackout curtains are going to make your ability to fall asleep a lot quicker and overall better quality. So definitely invest in some blackout curtains. Tip number three is going to be to avoid blue light. And I know blue light comes from each electronic that you might be using. So whether it's your own cell phone, whether it's a tablet, whether it's your computer, all of those things in today's society is basically leading us to get not as good sleep as possible, but making sure that you eliminate all of blue lights is going to make you get better sleep overall or if you want to go ahead and one up this, you want to go ahead and use glasses that have blue light blockers. So my glasses, I always make sure to buy them with blue light blockers. That way, even if I am using my laptop or my phone or anything else like that during the day, one stepping up to that so that I don't even have to worry about using blue light. And yes, to a certain degree, it doesn't fully eliminate the blue light, but it definitely helps to decrease that amount. And for someone who's an online fitness coach online, I spend a lot of time on my phone and a lot of time on my laptop. So definitely having blue light blockers is a huge plus for me, especially before bedtime. But with this, you want to go ahead and eliminate, if possible, all the blue light around you, meaning no electronics, 60 minutes, an hour before you fall asleep. But if you can't, and I trust me, I get it because I would be lying if I said that I didn't use my phone before sleeping, as I know that you guys do as well. At the very least, try and do 30 minutes before bedtime where you don't use any electronics. And that is going to really set you up for a good night's sleep. So definitely blue light blockers for the glasses. It'll help. Tip number four is going to be investing in some good quality bed sheets and pillows. So my pillows, are, depending on the season, so during the fall and winter, I'll typically go ahead and get fleece pillowcases and a fleece blanket so that I'm good, snugly and warm, but at the same time, setting the room temperature cold, so that's a double whammy right there. That's going to give me a better sleep, that's going to give me a better incentive so that I can put the blanket on top of me and fall asleep sooner rather than later because if you're too hot, you're not gonna fall asleep. However, if you're too cold, you're not going to fall asleep. So you have to find the right balance of setting the room temperature to being a little bit cold, but finding the good warmth from a good quality blanket and pillowcases that's going to really make you comfy so that you fall asleep. But during the spring and summertime, I'll typically go ahead and get silk pillowcases 
so that when it's really hot outside or anything else like that, I don't have to worry about acne. I don't have to worry about feeling too hot, having to flip the pillowcase over, which I know a lot of guys and girls do, but that's going to really help you get better quality sleep. It'll really help with your facials and overall you're going to get better quality REM sleep. So definitely invest in some good quality bed sheets and pillowcases because that's going to make your life a whole lot better. Trust me on that one. And tip number five is going to be fall asleep at the same time each and every single night. So if you fall asleep at midnight, try to reduce it a little bit. But falling asleep at the same time each and every single night is going to create a pattern for your body where without you even knowing, you're like, hmm, if you fall asleep at 11, for example, you're like, hmm, it's 1040. Why am I suddenly feeling sleepy where just five minutes ago I was wide awake? That's essentially your body telling you, hey, you gotta prepare for bedtime. It's bedtime soon. That's a good thing because you want to follow that. You don't want to go against that because you're going to create a routine rather than creating that bad routine you want to create a positive routine that way you fall asleep at a specific time each and every single night and that will naturally allow you to wake up around the same time each and every single morning so that's going to create more productivity in the morning more energy rather than feeling super groggy super sleep feeling like oh, i didn't get enough sleep fall asleep at the same time each and every single night and all of those things combined with all the other tips that i mentioned before you're going to get a good night's sleep. So those are the five tips that you want to go ahead and focus on in order to get better sleep every single night. Remember, new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and YouTube Shorts on the daily, so stay tuned for that. And remember, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ariel Osorio, signing out. Thank you.